Today we are going to be reviewing a retractable leash and comparing it to a leather leash and a normal nylon type of leash. So like that you can see the different type of leash and to see why this type of leash is not recommended especially for big dogs like Venus and Apollo, they are big pullers. This is the walkabout web retractable leash in size large for dogs up to 110 pounds which is Venus and Apollo size. Apollo weighs 96 pounds and Venus weighed between 105 to 110 depending on the day. I got it in pet supermarket for $29.99. One of the reasons people choose to buy this type of leash, one is because they're pretty cheap and two because they think it's great to have the option to have it as long or as short as they want it if they want it really long in 16 feet or if they want it normal size like 4 feet they could lock it with this device here so here we have our leash this is the mechanism to let it be retractable it has a rubber stopper a normal looking hook to put the leash on this is the brake mechanism and this is the lock mechanism so if you want it to be this long you break here and it will don't pull more and then you lock it here So now let's talk a little bit on why these leash are so controversial and why so many trainers and vets do not recommend getting this type of leash. One of the main reasons why they don't recommend this type of leash is because it extends so easily. It's a lot easier for the dog to get into the street or to get in a situation when they could get into a fight with another dog or chase an animal and hurt themselves or hurt the other animal. It's harder to control your dog when they are farther away from you, obviously. So because the dog could go, in this case, 16 feet, if he get in trouble, it's harder to control it versus if you have it right next to you, four to six feet. Also, in the state of Florida, it's illegal for the leash to be longer than four to six feet. Nobody listen to that and you will see a million people with a retractable leash but it's the law. Strong breeds, they like to pull like Malamutes, Pitbulls, Huskies, any type of really strong breeds. They're really easy for them to pull and if they pull full speed, it's very easy for them to break free from you. Especially the, the type of you hold the handler like this, you don't have full grip. Especially look the size of my hand and look the size of this handle. I want to have the finger here in case I have to put the lock and the other one here if I have to hit the brake. I only have grip on these three fingers and I guarantee you Venus and Apollo are stronger than that. There have been a really high report of people getting hurt using this leash. They have gotten burn in their hand and they have gotten cuts. Even in real extreme and rare cases, they have lost a finger. And also, in that same note, a lot of dogs have gotten hurt using this type of leash by pulling and getting in the middle of the street and getting run over by a car or getting beaten by another dog. And one of the things that this type of leash also do is it promotes pulling. The dog know if he keep pulling, he could get farther and farther and farther away from you. So you're teaching your dog the pulling is fine because he could get farther. When you're changing it to a normal leash like leather, or nylon, they also have like PVC uh, type of leathers. They think that if they could pull in, they will get farther and they will promote pulling. So that's one of the main reasons also trainers do not recommend this type of leash. Here we have different type of leash that we use. 
the rope type of leash nylon leather and the one that we are testing the retractable one our favorite as you could tell with how dirty it is is the leather leash this one is made by amish people and we have it for like four years now it's going strong it lasts super long time and we love it we have awesome control with this type of leash like if venus pull this is venus's leash when venus pull like if there's a squirrel we have awesome control with this leash another leash that we absolutely love is the rope type of leash this one is from petsmart from the brand papyrus papyrus i don't know how to say the brand and this one is really good as well it's pretty strong and it's easy to walk the only thing because it's rope and the color it gets dirty really easily and to clean it is not as easy as the leather one and the nylon this one was a present the Venus got I don't love it because it's very flimsy and I don't have as good control with this one as with the leather or the rope but it's an option that I want to show you again this one is not my favorite also I don't like the opening and closing mechanism and for the next part we will go outside with Venus and Apollo and put to the test our fourth type of leash I know there's more type of leash I know there's um I forgot the name I will put it somewhere around here that I've been wanting to test I believe it's made out of PVC or plastic and it's supposed to be very good comparison to leather but is more vegan friendly so I want to test that one in the future but right now I don't have one of those Venus, break. You go, go, mommy. Come on, Venus.
Hey, Minus. Minus, leave it. Hey. Come on, buddy. Come on. Something that I want to point out that I just noticed is that it doesn't have anywhere where I could hook a poop bag. So obviously I have other leash on me right now if he poops because he looks like he's looking to poop. And I could hold uh, the little poop bags, but this doesn't have anywhere to put the poop bags. I'm gonna lock it on. No, that's too small. Oh. <laughs> I think that's more or less good. Yeah. I'm gonna lock it and see how it works. Lock. Come on, buddy. Apollo. I definitely love the fact that I could put the hook part of the normal leash through my arm and then with my hand I hold it as long or as short as I want it but if he pulls and I lose grip I still have it on my arm 
Let's go. Track, come on. This way, buddy. We have been testing the retractable leash for like a week now, so I have a few thoughts about it like i suspected i'm not a fan of it i don't like it one of the main things that i don't like is when they walk and they get to the full length of the leash you know you always get like that tug it happened with all leashes but other leash where you could have the hoop of the leash around your wrist you have more control because you have it pulls on your hand but it's also been held by the wrist versus the retractable leash the way you hold it you don't have that much grip and i'm always scared if we see a squirrel i'm gonna lose the grip i use the leash with venus apollo and shrek and i have to say it's way better if you use it with a dog like shrek he's so tiny he doesn't go really far uh, he could be running and he doesn't get to the full length as the way I'm walking so with him it was a lot better so if you wanted for a small dog maybe better still have a lot of things that is bad like you're promoting pulling because they know they could keep going further and the leash is it goes it keep moving with them so they still have things that I don't like and the trainers and veterinarians do not recommend but if it's for a small dog it could be a semi yes but for a big giant breed like Venus and Apollo I will say a hundred percent no is I didn't feel safe uh, holding that leash I feel I was gonna lose grip the handle is too bulky for my hands I have small hands and you only have grip on these three fingers because this one you have it always ready in case you have to use the brake and this one is on top holding and also ready to if you have to use the lock so i don't know about you but i'm not that strong with only these three fingers so i was always scared we will see a raccoon or a squirrel or one of those tiny chihuahuas that go crazy I was always, always scared. So I will never use it with Venus and Apollo ever again. With Shrek, I will see myself using it, especially if I'm gonna take him to like a park, then I'm gonna be sitting and I wanna let him explore nearby. And I don't wanna be like walking with him. So I could sit and I let him explore around me. I could use it for that, especially with Shrek. But with Venus and Apollo, that's a no-no. Uh, another thing that I absolutely hate it is that it doesn't have a hook or a D-ring where I could put um, a pouch to put the poop bags. And a few times that I used it with Shrek, I forgot to take a poop bag and I had to come back home, get a poop bag and go back to where he pooped to pick up the poop. And that was a nightmare. So I hate it, I hate it, hate it. At the moment I left the house, I forgot to get the poop bags. And when I was there and I saw him pooping, I was like, shoot, I forgot the poop bags. So 
that's something that I don't have a problem with all my other leash because they all have like a little hook and I have different pump bags that I attach to each leash have their own little pouch and I have each leash with different pump bags like that I never run out with that problem so that was the part that I actually hated the most it was awful like I felt so bad one of the time I pulled um, Shrek poop in front of one of my neighbor's house and I was like if they're looking they're gonna think I'm gonna gonna leave them there forever because they're not gonna know I'm going home to pick up a bag to come back it was terrible so overall I don't like it for Venus and Apollo but I could use it for Shrek and probably I will use it here and there for Shrek I have it so why not but I will then go out of my way to buy another to use with Venus and Apollo. But it's up to you if you want to use them or not, if you like them. Talk to your bed, they will tell you more about it. And you could take an educated decision with your trainer or your bed. So that was it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.